almost six it's 5 30 on saturday and normally on saturdays as you can see right now i'm chilling on my bed editing on my laptop so um normally saturday is a chill day because friday is pretty stressful sometimes not stressful but like i just have a lot going on on friday sometimes i go out with my friends or i just have four lectures at uh, four lectures four hours worth of lectures seminars so i like to take saturday quite easy and chill i stay on my bed most of the day um when i get up around like 12 or 1 i start using my laptop or i read i have um, the Tempest and my linguistics textbook and then this is my literature textbook. Normally I just grab this table and then I can instantly start working on whether it be my homework or just editing in general. So I came back from a UDSF meeting. It's almost 9 o'clock. Got mail. Just picked it up from the locker. And now I'm walking into the building. So I'm now in the building. Today's outfit looks like this. Black leggings, black heels, burgundy sweater, and a black scarf. And of course I've got these really cool glasses. So this is my outfit today. Um, like I said, it's this Kiki's Delivery Service scarf I got as a Christmas present, I think in 2016. And then I got a burgundy um, sweater to match with my burgundy backpack. And then black leggings and these pair of, oh, these pair of heels. Look at those. Whoa. Yes. I look so much taller today. Look at that. Yay. Okay, so this is my book, Depository Mail, and I'm really excited. This is my last parcel that I ordered after I got everything, um, you know, just to make sure I settled in. And I'm super excited. I already know what this is. I'm super excited. So as I know, you guys probably don't know because you guys won't watch the Yogg's cast, but Shin left the Yogg's cast. Shin and Terps left the Yogg's cast. And I was really, really upset about it because Shin was like my favorite YouTuber on the Yogg's cast probably. And I was, it hit me a little bit that I was afraid that they would stop selling things like merchandise with Shin in it, Shin and Terps. So I went and I bought the, <laughs> I bought the Yogg's cast diggy book. Because, um, you know, in this book, Shin and... I don't know if Terps is in it, but Shin is in it, definitely. Shin is, like, right here. So, uh, I just... I was very terrified for a very quick moment. So, I bought this book so that um, I could keep it as, like, a memory of Shin. I think he's not dead. He just left the Yogg's cast. I mean, I know why, but, I, you know, it's not for me to say why, but... You know, Shin is in it, and then Terps is also in it. So I think it would be a great memory of the once perfect Yogg's cast. And I just really want to keep it that way. And I will. Today, I finished class at 11. It's 1. I was on the phone with Justin for about an hour uh, had making lunch. So first, orange juice. Uh, and then carpaccio and olive oil for my capaccio and rice crackers and also i have bread for my cheese and fraca if i choose to make some so nice lunch i just made a banana and avocado milkshake and i'm not sure how i feel about it Oh my god. Okay, so I'm not sure how I feel about it, guys. I, I'm really not sure. Earlier for today, I had lunch. It was like a homemade vegetarian restaurant, organic food kind of vibe. It was at the central station. I'll insert like a picture like here. Um, yep. So that was really good. I loved it. It had like carrot soup. A pumpkin lasagna and I had a kind of like a Portuguese egg tart kind of thing and also a brownie. Um, I took the brownie home. This is a, I think an organic, supposedly organic brownie. It's 
so good guys like so i know it literally looks like shit but it's so airy and puffy it's just amazing like look at how puffy it is it's just all puffy and it's got like chocolate sauce and everything it's just literally like the best um brownie cupcake ever it's so good so today is friday and i got back from going outside in the rain for like i don't know 10 minutes of my life um i went to this place called food world it's um like a five minute bike ride from my place and um i went to mcdonald's because i was really craving mcdonald's for like two weeks now and it's actually not that bad it's like 42 hong kong dollars for a meal with no drink because it's one euro for a drink regardless of what you get and also if you order a meal fries don't come with it so what's the point of it call what why do you call it a meal when it only comes with chicken nuggets and sauce like i don't understand anyways the fries are literally more expensive than the chicken nuggets and I cannot understand that but I love potatoes so I really want the fries so I got it anyways so literally it's just six chicken nuggets french fries and um sweet and sour sauce but here they call it plum sauce so uh, not plum sauce Jesus sauce, and it even comes with like a bowl and chopsticks so yeah that's interesting <laughs> yeah and then here I just got my own drink so it's orange juice look at that healthy combo Okay, so I'm in the Netherlands. You guys probably already know that if you follow me on YouTube. So we got the fries here, the chicken nuggets, and the sauce. On the screen, they call it sweet and sour sauce. But on the package, they call it Chinese sauce. Chinese sauce. If I could just show you. Chinese sauce. It's pretty strange. Um, I've had some of their food, like the fries, I'm gonna, it's one pound, pound, it's like one year for ketchup, plus I never actually use the ketchup for my fries, so I'm okay with it, I'm not losing anything, the fries are good, crunchy, and they actually taste like they have potato in them, And the chicken nuggets, dip it in the Chinese, Chinese sauce. And the sauce is a bit strange. It's a bit thick and sour, and it kind of tastes like very light curry sauce. I don't know why do I think it tastes like curry sauce, but it tastes like, this is not flattering angles of me, but this is a real deal. So yeah, it tastes kind of like very light curry sauce not and light curry sauce and very thick sweet and sour sauce but the chicken nuggets like the texture of the chicken nuggets are amazing like they're crispy on the outside but not like pathetically crispy they're like tender crispy and oh my god the nuggets are super good like yes so i think i'd give this like out of 10 rated like the meal like chicken nuggets fries and sauce i would rate it like a out of 10 I rate the fries like a 6 out of 10, the nuggets a solid 8 out of 10, and the sauce like 6 out of 10, I guess. It's 11.56 on September 28th, which is Justin's birthday, and my biggest takeaway from going out today... Yes, guys! Oh my god! This, this thing, this waffle, white chocolate covered waffle with strawberries cost me 9 euros! Oh my god, it's so expensive, but... I've only had two this month. Like, this is my second one this month. So, actually, I don't even think I had one this month. Is this my second one this month? I don't know. But basically, I really love this and I treat this delicacy like I know it's expensive and everything. So, which is why I only have it like once or twice a month. And I rarely go out on weekends. So, my get back from this. Considering that I'm so proud of myself for everything that happened this week, I'm just going to reward myself with a little treat. Look at this white chocolate covered strawberry. It looks like it's got the leaves on, but who cares? It's just beautiful. Look at all this white chocolate goodness. So we're now at this place called Doc. Um, yeah, um, they sell, well, it's a festival. It's like an Asian food festival and now they're selling Asian food. Uh, I came all the way here from home just to try it out. So yeah, authentic this gets. And also satay chicken 
and it's cold, it's rainy, the sand is all wet and disgusting, but I'm sure on a good day it would look nicer. So I'm back inside. This is how it looks in here. It looks very lively and warm. Play billiards, air hockey, and you can sit here and enjoy like the vibes of like Japanese. And there's like trees and stuff. It's more Japanesey than it is Asian, but okay, we get it. And then I have a crepe, like strawberry and cream with strawberry jam. <laughs> Today is the 2nd of October and it's like, I don't know, 10, 11, al almost 11 and my iPad case arrived like this morning. I haven't actually went down to pick it up yet, but it's in the locker so I'm gonna go down now. It's just literally across the street. I don't even have to cross the street, it's just in the building opposite me. My case is like in that room so I'm gonna go down and get my iPad case. The past month and a half i have just been walking around with the ipad like this it's vulnerable to everything so i'm just gonna put on my shoes and get down to get my case yes look at this this is crazy it's just random people's people's random laundry are just on the table and there's stuff like packed all into the shelves it's just really weird this is it guys, my iPad case. Now I'm home, super excited to open my Amazon thing. I can't wait, super excited. Yay, here it is. My iPad case in all its glory. It's in the rose gold color, it's from the brand Moco. Wow, it's super nice. Okay, it's exactly as I expected it. I'm happy, I'm very happy. Look at this, look at this nice rose gold kind of matte color here and the rims as well are very nice and classic-y. And of course it comes with the case here, it's rose gold as well, look at that. It's very nice. I'm gonna stick my iPad in here. Yes. Now how do I, oh my God, I can, I can put it like this now. This is making my life so much easier. And it's even got the, oh my God, it's the magnetic case thing. This is, oh, okay, now it's completely snug in its hole. It's got my new iPad case. Name one thing that I can't believe is that I can't believe my bag, um, this one, the one that I was talking about last time, insulates food. So it's like, uh, let me check what the temperature is outside. Nine degrees. It's nine degrees outside and I put this in my bag without the plastic bag. It doesn't come with one. So I just put this whole thing in my bag. It kept this cold and I put my chicken nuggets in the other compartment and I swear this is still warm. Like it's about the same temperature as I got it from the counter. So it keeps my chicken nuggets warm and it keeps my milkshake cold. It's insane. My bag insulates food Ooh. hello everybody um i went to decathlon and i bought a lot of camping camping equipment because it's the same as camping but it comes indoors with a mattress and then everything else you have to figure out yourself so like sleeping bag plates and cutlery and all that weird shit like pillows blankets all that random crap like toiletries and stuff so uh, I went to Decathlon, I spent like 33 euros, which is kind of expensive considering the trip is 45 euros. I was willing to spend 34 euros because when I go back to Hong Kong and if I ever do overnight camps with YMCA, uh, this will come in handy. So uh, this is the kind of stuff that I will be able to use again in the future, so I don't think I'm wasting my money. So first I got this plastic, uh, plastic uh, plate comes with a hook, you can hook it somewhere, I don't know where you want to hook it. And then I got this plastic cutlery, comes with a knife, fork, and spoon, so it's perfect. It's got everything, and the the knife blade is sharp enough to cut through some food, I hope. So I got a sleeping bag. Um, this is for 20 degrees, because in Hong Kong, obviously, it's going to be 
like 30, 20, 30 degrees. So I don't need a sleeping bag that's any colder than that. And since in here, even though it's like nine degrees outside, I'll be sleeping indoors. And if it gets cold, I can just dress up warmer. So that will be okay. I just want to check this out. It's not like the ones where you put your head and it looks like you're in the Arctic. Um, it's open here at the top. And then if you zip it all the way down, it can actually double as a blanket. So when you don't want to use it as a sleeping bag, you can use it as a blanket. And that was my main selling point for me. So you can just open it and it turned into like a very comfy blanket. And if you zip it back, it turns into this really nice sleeping bag. There we go. And then I can just chuck it back into my little bag here. And then good as new. Look at that. Perfect. So yeah, I got that. And the next thing I got is this uh, Kipsta 80 liter duffel bag. I posted on my Instagram and I said, do you think 60 liters is enough? And a lot of you guys said no. So I upped my game and I got 80. And uh, worst case scenario is that I can always keep it for camp, like I said. So it's not really a big of a deal for me. And it's very nice. It's a nice sturdy bag as well. So I'm just gonna open it. So it comes with a dual zipper here so that you can zip it inside out when you flip the pack, uh, when you flip the bag. And it comes with a nice shoulder pad for you to wear it. It looks huge on me, but it will check out because I'll just be holding it uh, with the two straps here. And it also comes with the, the padding so you don't uh, break your fingers or anything. And what I'm putting inside might be big and bulky, but it's definitely light, so it's okay. And it's just this nice, big, uh, big 80 liter bag with Kipsta on it. And it's got a bunch of zippers here and on the side as well, and also on the back. So it's very nice.